Hi Flosstube, I'm back and I made it back within a week or so, maybe a little over a week. Um, everybody here is finally doing better. The dog is eating her regular food and eating as soon as we feed her, so she's got to be feeling better. Ethan's ear is all healed. They both went for their checkups. Um, Ellery had her three-year check, Ethan had his five-year, and they're doing great. Um, so I think we're on the up, minus the hubby's car. <laughs> So, um, anyway, but I did make it back. I'm hopefully going to make it back next week again, too. Tonight, I have the kids. They may sneak in. I don't know. Um, I have them in our bedroom with Octonauts on TV, so I'm hoping they'll be distracted enough for me to get through a 30, 40-minute video. So, um, we shall see about that. And, um, well, the dog must be feeling better because she's making her appearance. Okay, get down, please find the kids okay um so welcome back thank you for coming back I know I have a bunch of new subscribers so thanks guys I'm glad you stopped by and I'm glad you're enjoying it um I will be doing a giveaway soon I think because I'm creeping up over 930 followers so we're gonna hit that thousand I really got to figure out what I'm giving away um so this week I did some stitching. I had some other stuff going on. We, you know, were juggling with one car. So last Friday, I was supposed to go to dinner and a movie, got home from work. Brian got home with the kids, and I turned around to leave five minutes later, walked outside, and there was a big puddle under my husband's car. And I said, you better back your car up. And he backed up and it was an orange red liquid and he thought it was coolant either way not a good thing but he thought it was coolant great it was a huge puddle already Saturday morning his dad came over they jacked the car up on one side and it just poured out everywhere so I mean like covering a whole square of our driveway and it turned out it was transmission fluid <laughs> transmissions shot the car is toast. <laughs> we we were planning on replacing it before winter anyway. Um, it was 20 years old. It, we had a good run with it. I, I can't complain. It was a 98 Malibu that I got from my grandma. Um, when I got it from her in 2006, it only had 17,000 miles. So it, it lived a good long life and served us well. But uh, it's just the timing is never convenient. You know, we thought we were going to be car shopping while we had two vehicles. And now... We have to rush car shop, one vehicle, kids to haul back and forth to daycare, trying to figure out who's taking the car to work for the day. It's been fun. I, I honestly do not know. I know some families do it. My cousin and her family does it. And kudos to you guys. I, I am spoiled with ha always having had individual cars for us because this is tough. So if you guys do it awesome um I can't <laughs> so hopefully the car shopping will go you know within the next week we can find something so um so that's that's oh and that's not the end of that story either because then after the car we figured out the car was junk and had to go I wanted it off of the driveway so we could try to clean up that oil and transmission fluid and so I had his dad and his brother and, and Brian they all pushed it down the driveway and put it against the curb thankfully um, Brian called the scrap company that had come to pick up his last car yes he's killed too um, and they came same day and they did the towing we didn't have to worry about the towing they came to get it and they gave us cash and it was like 230 bucks it's better than nothing so that got taken away right away and then I went to the store and I bought 70 pounds of cat litter. Two of those huge pails, 70 pounds of cat litter. Got in the car to come home, and I could tell it was gonna start raining. And I'm looking up, I'm like, come on, I just gotta get home before the rain. <laughs> I didn't. I drove right into it. Sat in my car, just watching the driveway, watching it run down. It rained for five or ten minutes. As soon as it stopped raining, I got out of the car and I took those two pails of cat litter and dumped it on the spot, which has now expanded because of the rain. And we left it there for two days. So, um, 
it, it, it took up care of most of it, but we do still have some stains. Um, and now, and it rained, doggy, no, no, no. It rained again today, so you can see some of the oil still. So we definitely need to get some more cat litter. Um, and speaking of cat litter, when we went to clean it up on Monday morning, honey, this is not gonna work. You're not a lap doggy. Um, we went to clean it up on Monday morning and I was sweeping and I said, man, the oil really soaked through in this spot. It's really wet. And then I realized there were cat prints. So the neighbor's cat came and peed in the litter on our driveway. Guess at least it used the litter, right? Um, so that's our ordeal of the week because it seems like we have one every week. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So stitching was slower because of that. Um, but it was, it was still a decent week. Um, and I've got some stuff to show. I've got others that I can't show. But, um, let's see. Where do I want to? And it looks like I went crazy shopping again. I... I swear I'm literally like watching it and trying to control it and then all this stuff shows up and I'm like oh just kidding um, let's talk about Mirabilia first though um, obviously everybody knows about the Mirabilia re-releases uh, the limits for the shops which I totally understand um, I totally understand limiting the number so that smaller shops can get have a chance of getting the charts um, I don't necessarily disagree with that. I just think that maybe they should have realized uh, that they needed to print more and maybe they still will. Maybe this was just the first run and maybe there will be more coming. Um, to everybody that got the charts that they were hoping for, congrats. Um, I, di I did manage to, um, not too hard since I work at an LNS. Um, to everybody that didn't, there's still charts out there. Um, I have the links down below we have some available I do not know exact counts lady of the flag and mermaid queen mermaid or whatever those are both gone uh, we don't have any of those available but seaside kingdom I know we had some of those and I think there's a couple left of both of the fairies um, I did put links to the Facebook group as well as the website go to the Facebook group um, that's where the pictures are and you can claim one order one that way um, it is first come first serve uh, the shop is not doing a lottery style so um, please no you cannot climb up here the dog is clearly feeling better um, so anyway those links are below Moe's Needle and Thread in Portland Michigan we can ship no problem and she does have bead packs for some of the charts as well so um, check that out I did manage to get the mermaid um, seaside kingdom lady of the flag which I'm gonna go into in a second and um, I got the new uh, lady mirabilia with the butterfly charm so I'm looking forward to getting those. I'm actually going to go out there tomorrow. I'm picking up three hours of work and be able to pick up my new charts. So that's exciting. Um, Lady of the Flag. Yes, I got a copy. Yes, I already have a copy. I've been working on that one. However, I purchased a copy because I want to be able to keep it. Um, the one that I have is a... A rack copy I guess a, 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 a traveling copy a, you know random act of kindness it will be passed on to other stitchers um, there are two people already lined up behind me and um, they will stitch it and pass it along so that one will be going um, obviously you know I I have the chart now to hold on to and I can pass on the other um, and that one was gifted to me by a stitcher that really thought I would enjoy it and she was right I love it so um, that is going to keep going as a, a rack chart so um, let's see I guess that's about it for the week um, and I wanted to make sure to get the Mirabilia information out to you if you wanted to check out their page and I have to let the dog out
Maxi. Go. Okay. Whips. I'll start with Lady of the Flag. I'm not positive that I have any more progress from the last video, but I might. I might have worked on it the night that I did the video. So here is my Lady of the Flag. Looking awesome. I am in love. I should probably order the rest of the beads tomorrow when I'm at work. Because I don't think I have any of the beads yet. I'll have to check my... Um, check my stash and see what I have already, but then I'm going to have to do some ordering of beads and Krynik. So, um, Halloween Gathering by Thistle. Let's see if I have the pattern handy. Here's the pattern. And there are going to be changes to this owl. His eyes are going to be open like the other two. Um, this is, again, the shop model. And I have a little bit of progress on that as well. Get this needle out of the way. The owl has gotten some addition. I think I did a couple more rows of the pumpkin, but I needed a break from orange. <laughs> so he is started. He is so cute. I really like that. So that's getting there. I think I'm officially like halfway done with this project now. Um, and I think the rest of it should go pretty quick. So that's cool. The rest of my whips, um, I joined three swaps this month. Uh, Great Biscorno swap, link on Facebook. The um, Cross Stitch ATC swap on Instagram. And I do have a link to that as well if you wanted to check that out and maybe join. And then the... Uh, cross stitch card and ATC swap it's on a it's a Facebook group and I also have the link below um, and that's the I, I joined all three of those this month um, my ATC is already done and on its way to the recipient it is well almost I have to mail it um, the theme was horror and I love how mine turned out I, I almost wanted to keep it um, I did take pictures, so once my recipient has received it, I will put pictures in one of my videos so you can see it, or at the end of my video. The second one, um, the, was a, it's a, the Facebook group alternates card and ATC um, every other month, so this month is card, and the theme was animals, and I don't have anything to put behind this. And this is what I stitched. He's so cute. I'm super happy with how that turned out. And I just pulled out some to fray the edges. This is coming out. There we go. So now I need to find some cardstock and make a cute card out of that and stick my goodies in it and send it off. So two swaps completely done. I'm doing good for time because I don't even have to send the Biscornu out by the end of the month. But I have it done. Well, I have the pieces done. I have to put it together, which I'm hoping to do tonight. So the theme for the Biscornu swap is summer. And this is what I came up with. I wanted to do something a little bit different. I have fun finding different stuff. I found this black work rose and I swapped colors. And I chose these beautiful colors. They are both from Victorian Motto Sampler Shop, which is linked below because I subscribed to her Floss of the Month and I'm gonna show those colors off and they were awesome this month. There's my front. And for my back, I just took that uh, background design from the leaves and Stitched it in the corner so that when it folds up for the Biscornu, you'll see some design on there. Just give it a little bit more color. So I'm really happy with that. Like I said, I'm hoping to put it together tonight. And I think I can find some beads to coordinate. So I'm probably going to do beads around it again. 
that's it for my stitching whips, but I have two more whips. The knitting thing, I, I've been bitten by the, knitting, the knitting bug. Um, the first shawl that I started has greatly progressed. I can't even get it all in frame now. I think it's awesome. I'm going to give this one to my mom when it's done. So I basically just have the purple pink to add back onto this end. That's what we're working into. And it will be done. Um, I Maybe I lied and maybe I'll work on this tonight instead of the Biscornio because that's almost done. Um, and then, really exciting for knitting. Oh, I forgot to grab it. Okay, so, I got a message from Tina one day, and it said, hey, um, watch your mail today. And I went, what'd you do? I have a suspicious face now. She laughed at me. Got home and there was a package with this super cute card. And she said that, um, a while ago, nine or 10 years ago, she tried knitting, bought everything and didn't care for it that much. It wasn't for her. Um, and so she passed on the supplies that she had, the, the needle sets to me um, with my new hobby. They're freaking gorgeous. Um, <laughs> I was floored. I'm still in shock. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. This is the hold the um, case with all of the straight needles. Look at that, beautiful wood. I love it. Um, it's, it's awesome. It rolls up, you can tie it. It's got a little flap to cover those. It's awesome. Um, and then the second set is this interchangeable set with cables for the circular um, knitting needles. Again, that beautiful wood. Thank you so much. You have no idea. I mean, this is just awesome. I, I don't think I could ever repay you. Um, it was totally unexpected and I love it. So thank you, Tina. It, it's again, just love the stitching community. Um, so since I had new needles, I had to start a new project. <laughs> and I'm doing, it's the same shawl, but it's a different, this is the ball of yarn that I'm using. Another shawl and a cake. And here is my start. Not very much, but I got that done in possibly one night. I think one night. So, yeah. It's, it's going. And I'm already making less mistakes on this one. So, awesome. Uh, so that is it for whips. I, like I mentioned, have an insane amount of haul. Yeah. Um, first, since I already talked about some stitchy kindness, I had the opportunity to meet Carrie, House of Floss and Fluff. Her family was in town, well, not in town, but super close to me, um, visiting family. And we met at the shop that I work at. So it was super, super nice. I got to meet her and her husband and visit with them um, and shop with her. And it was, it was awesome. Um, it's so nice when you can shop with somebody that shares the same passion uh, for the hobby. So, um, and she brought me a gift, totally unnecessary, but she brought me a tote bag with a kitty, since I still can't have a real kitty. 
but she got me a tote bag. And she made me this Oort jar. And there's some, yeah, super cool. And inside the Oort jar that, oh my God, for some reason I have a problem opening, is a scissor fob, little punch needle owl. He's so cute. And another punch needle owl. I'm gonna take him to work and put him on my desk. I love it. And she's got him backed with felt. And, yeah, she went a little bit crazy, didn't she? She stitched me this. Sister Stitcher. And she designed that pattern. Used some silks. I love this color that she painted the hoop. It's, you can't see it really, in, oh, you can kind of see this, the shimmer in the, like that iridescent shimmer when the light catches it. I love it. Um, Sister Stitcher is what I had put on a bracelet that I had made for Carrie. So, um, now I have my Sister Stitcher piece. And then, let's see, I guess, there goes the dog. I might as well start with the shop haul from that trip with Carrie. Um, most of this was stuff I had on order. Uh, Mo had posted all of the new stuff one week that had come out, and it was a, a bunch of stuff that I wanted. Um, so it was all on order. And then I picked up just two things that were not on that initial order. So, nope, three things. Oops. <laughs> First was my Keepsake 2019 cross-stitch calendar. So you get the calendar, and you get the patterns, and you get pocket calendar with the bonus pattern. This year's calendar, here's what we have. So... Um, January, I do like that. I don't know if this is going to focus or not. I like these. That bike is really cute. I love this. This, what is that, November? December. This is... Definitely interesting, but I don't know that it's something I'd ever stitch. I, I think that's going to be a popular one for people, but I'm not sure. Um, not sure that I like it enough to stitch it. So there's quite a few patterns on here that I will stitch, and uh, maybe I'll stitch one of these for my grandma or something. So that is the, again, Keepsake 2019 cross-stitch calendar. Um, I also had this on order, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. This is the new issue, um, summer 2018. And this is the issue with the write-up, the article, uh, feature on the Twisted Stitcher. So that was, I loved reading that. That was great. Um, and I got this magazine really for two patterns. I liked the Mermaid, but then... These are so cute. And those are Barbara Anna. Um, kind of like that mouse, the, the garden mouse that I did for fall. Sweeping the garden or whatever. It reminds me of those. I mean, I mean it's Barbara Anna style. So I definitely want to make all three of those. Um, other than that, there's, there's some good uh, punch and needle patterns this issue as well. Um, I haven't gone through to mark everything yet but here's a hummingbird bright and colorful I don't know what the dog is doing eating something here's another sunroof so yeah that was a good issue 
Um, I had these in order. I love butterflies. I when these came out, I just yeah, I had to get them. I haven't. I don't think I got the other two though. The first two that came out, I'm not sure if I'm going to. I think the colors in these new ones are what attracted me. This was on order. Noah's Ark 3. I've mentioned before when I had one and two in my haul, I think I'm going to do a bell pull and put these straight up and down on the same piece. That's my initial plan. We'll see what happens. Uh, the next Biscornu from Tiny Modernist. Nice bright colors. Not yet, buddy. Mill Hill. Little chickadee. And then there's the three that I found sh while shopping with Carrie. You get Whispered by the Wind. Those will look great for Halloween in, um, kids are getting rowdy, in a little birdcage decoration that I have. Hey, you guys, no fighting. Plum Street, summer in Nantucket. I love that lighthouse. And the punch needle. I have eyed this one for a while, so it was time to just finally buy it. And then last night when I was at work, I grabbed some fat eighths for finishing. That was cool. That'll be really good for fall pieces. And this one. <laughs> I can't even tell what she's saying. But <laughs> oh, the things they say. Bunnies for spring or Easter. This is just a nice neutral brown, dark brown. And Christmas birds. And they go two different ways, cardinals. So I picked those up. Oh, I picked this up at the bookstore this week. Um, a friend of mine that is a very accomplished knitter suggested this book as a good reference. So I did go pick this up. I flipped through it, haven't sat down to really read through anything, but um, I'm looking forward to using that. Okay, um, the rest, oh, oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start. I went to Joanne's last Saturday, and they had really good sales and I had a 20% off total purchase including sale items so I found this patriotic piece is going there I don't know what but I will find one to put over here and I don't really care about the scratch because it will get covered so that's my first oh and it does have a, a hang And then I got two more um, hanging signs that were they were 50% off plus I had that coupon so I just grabbed them eventually they'll get used I'm sure um, and then I can probably use them for my front uh, front door the rest oh Joanne's oh my goodness you guys what did I do um, these fat this is not a fat quarter. Fat eights, I guess. Pretty birds. I have the tag. These are Shell Rummel. Maybe that's the artist. I don't know. Coats. This is that's all it says. I don't know. Um I used my 40% coupon on these. They are so soft. I wish I had known they were eights, so I might not. Have, well, I can still use fat eights. 
If they'd been fat quarters, I was gonna maybe try to do something quilting, but that's okay. It's a really pretty blue. It's really not showing up super well on here, but. Ellery. No fighting. Feathers? Watercolor look. Um, well, that's why they were fat aids, because there's a lot of them in here. This one. It's a bigger print. Birds. I don't know. I'll do something. I say a lot, uh, a lot of I don't know. I just, I don't know. Compulsively shop? Eh, I get stuff I'll use. Ethan, can you please let the dog in? Maybe that will distract them from fighting. Scrubby yarn was half price. I'm gonna make some dishcloths for my mom. Two more shawl and a cake. These will turn into Christmas gifts for coworkers. They are very neutral people, so I went with neutral. And this one for myself. Do you wanna say hi? Come over here. Don't step. This is Ethan. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> Ethan is how old are you? Five. Five. Yep. You like looking at Mama's stitchy stuff with her? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite? Mm, the pickup. The pickup. Mhm. Mm Mater. Mhm. Mm it's a tow truck. Mhm. Mm okay. Mama's gonna finish this up. Can you say goodbye and go watch some Octonauts? Goodbye. <laughs> Um, now you've seen the whole family. Lion Brand cupcakes. These were on sale half price. I have no, no project in mind for them, but I grabbed four color combos that I really liked. They're super soft. Oh, and I forgot about this. I picked up some washi tape that was on sale. You want to say hi too? Well, come here. Don't touch the table. Okay. You say hi. Hi. <laughs> Can you tell everybody how old you are? How old? Three. Three. Can you tell? How about you tell them what's on your shirt? Unicorn. Unicorn. Okay. Can you say bye bye? And go watch some more Octonauts. Okay. I'm almost done. Okay. Okay. She just ran back in the room. I said hi too. All right, so that's everything from Joanne. I mentioned uh, last video that I had already placed an order with um, Stony Creek, and I got that order in. That's not everything from Joanne, dang it. I'm going to make some needle minders with those. Family, cute little cat, can turn that into a card or something. And I had to get this because I have the other princess um, stitching kits that I'm gonna do for Ellery. So probably gonna put this on um, that opal, really light pink or really light purple that I showed from my last video, uh, the picture of this plus. I think it'll look really good on that. Now that's all of Joanne. What's up? Um, all right, just a second. 
Go get a get a cup off of the drying mat. Get the get the yellow one or the blue one. Right behind nope, nope, not one with a lid. Just get one without a lid. Get one out of the drawer. And then take it in the bathroom. You can get a drink and then leave your cup on the counter, okay? Yeah, and then leave it on the counter in the bathroom. Okay. Um, one of these, whichever, this one, I guess, was free. It was the second one. I had to pay for the first one because I had missed it. But this is going to be a really cool bell pull pattern. So I picked those up. What's up, Peanut? Hmm? Um, back issues. No, I'm not done yet. Okay. Back issues of Stony Creek. As you can see, I went through them and marked them up. I'm not going to take the time to show you guys all the patterns right now. I have children that I think are getting antsy, which is fine. Um, they're doing really good. I have my floss of the month from Color and Cotton. What are you doing, monkey? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> hey, oh, careful. Can yeah. you go throw this away for me? Can I Thanks. Put it on the table? Yes, put it on the table. Carmine. Rose gold. Pine needles. Prussian blue. These are all showing up real, oh, my herd of elephants is running through the living room. And black walnut. These are all showing up really true to color. So that was my, uh, that yes, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> that was my floss of the month. And then I had also ordered just some of theirs off the website. Coral pink, um, pear, and I, I accidentally ordered two, wasn't paying attention. Jade. Calliope. This one's really pretty. Uh, Winter Garden. Not that bright of a green in person. Stonehenge. Yeah. Blush Pearl, which I also managed to get two of somehow. <laughs> the camera can't see you. And Dracula. That's not where the camera is. The camera is on this side. Over here. That's the camera. <laughs> um, I also got my Victorian Motto uh, subscription. Uh, fabric of the Month and Floss of the Month. Fabric of the Month, my I get the 32 count um, linen quarter yard. This is my piece this month. Awesome neutral color. Very happy with her fabrics of the month. I do wish you would name the colors though because they're really cool. Um, but that's okay. Whatever. And then my 12 floss of the month are in here. Look at how bright those are. That's awesome. This green is actually called, I think, glow in the dark. Um, highly recommend her. And I, it, these are 20, 20 yard skeins. Yeah. Um, I have her blogs, her blog listed below. Go check it out. She's actually doing a giveaway and it doesn't end. She's doing the drawing on July 1st. So you have, still have time to enter and she's giving away. It's more than just one set of floss. It's a lot of, no, maybe it is just one set, one or two sets of floss. Um, so go to her blog and yeah, that's your blankie and uh, enter that. Um, yes. I'm showing my purple blankie. You're showing your purple blankie? Can yeah. you Can you take purple blankie to cuddle in bed? Go watch one more, go watch a little bit more. I'm almost done, okay? Um, I found a new dyer on Etsy. She, well, she's not new. I'm sure she's, she's been around. I, she's new to me. Um, and her shop is linked below. The shop is hand dyed by Rolanda. Amazing. Um, she's in Canada. She shipped 
the same day that I placed my order. I mean, it was almost immediate. Um, she had it packaged and, and ready to go. I ordered some of her floss to start with. Um, she does not have color names. No, I don't think she has color names on, on Etsy. But these are just awesome. Pull them out of the plastic so there's no glare. And they're super soft. So after I, tr so after I, you can look at it. So after I placed this order and got them and saw how awesome they were, I have already gone and placed two more floss, <laughs> two more floss orders, placed one and then she put new colors out this Monday. So I placed another one. But you guys. You can take that. Go throw that away. You have got to see these fabrics. Oh my God. Oh, and she also included this cute little needle minder. Um, this is a 28 count, and I did get quarters, fat quarters. Oh my God. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Don't can touch. I yes, you can see the ladybug, but please do not touch. Okay. There's a pin. It'd be owie. Yeah. Okay. And this is 36 count linen. I think that's even weave. This. Actually, this might be an even weave, too. Hi. And Hi. this one is just awesome. Oh my god. So, this one. I have decided that I am going to be stitching AAN, AAN's butterfly on there, and I'm going to do it, yes, don't don't play with that, I'm going to do it all in beads. Uh, Pemberley had done um, AAN the lips. <laughs> Very good, Ellery. Okay, go back in the bedroom, please. Okay. Um, so anyway, I talked to her and asked her how many beads, like how I needed to buy them from Fire Mountain. I just need to get on the site and order them. Uh, well, pick out a color too. Um, so yes, please go check out Rolanda and little inside scoop. She's posting new fabric on Monday, but you guys aren't allowed to buy any until I get to look through it first. I got this off of Stash Unload, uh, 28 count crystal shadow, picture this plus. That might be a good one for like a Halloween piece, I don't know. Everybody's coming out in the living room, so it must be time for me to start wrapping it up. So I'm going to show things quicker. Stash Unload, these are the, with the fabric and charms couple little ones that I can use for decoration. Got a, cup, a few Britter Cup designs. I love these little cats. So got those two. Please set that down. These two. Time for Halloween. Stitch one or two of those and get the pocket watch from work. Can I do that? No. Okay, uh, yellow lily. Yellow lily. Okay, good job, honey. Please put it down. We won't do this again. This came in the mail today. RTO. Little owl. Are you Barbara Anna. And I'm going to be swapping out all of those floss for um, hand dyes. <laughs> All right, goofballs. More alphabets to have on hand. Quit, touch, don't touch the table. See, it jiggles the camera. Okay, okay, put it down. And I got three other magazines, and I'll show them later because I just can't do it right now. Um, check out the links. Everything's below. <laughs> this became a game. All right, you two, get over here. Come here. Um, I like. Fish one. You like that fish one? 
because it has a fish. Okay. And we I was that I have flowers. Flowers. And what else? Birds? Yeah. Birds. Yeah. All right. We're going to get going. It's time to get ready for bed anyway. Can you guys say goodbye to everybody? Bye. Can you say have a good week? Have a good week. Can and don't forget to show the fish on back to us when you're done. <laughs> and still, this fellow one and blue <laughs> one for us again, rag you. Are you guys practicing for your own YouTube channel? Yeah, we yeah. want to still do it. You're silly. We still want to do it. <laughs> okay. We have to go tonight. But you guys can you guys can come on Mommy's and video I another time, okay? Get okay. Bye to us and there you go. Okay. Everybody look at the camera. Say happy stitching. Happy, happy stitching. stitching. Bye guys. Happy <laughs> Happy stitching.